All right, everybody, we're back here at home. We've got Bob and Bearsville Bees here. And as you can see behind us, we've got a Lance Hive. We've got Langstroth Hives. We're going to get suited up because you guys are going to come with us step by step. We're going to transfer this Langstroth into a Lance. So kick back and relax. Watch this video. We're going to get suited up and get started. All right, here we go. Kids, don't try this at home. Nah. <laughs> this is, it's really just a matter of organization. All right, we got our smoker fired up already. Got our full smoker fuel. Get our hive tools out. Smoke was burning good. Oh yeah, I had her good and fired up before you got here. Mine always fires up good, then when I go to use it, it doesn't work, and then when I set it down and I'm done with it, it just burns like <laughs> crazy crap. It's good you can get them burning, get a nice cool smoke out of them. Now some of you guys will see as we start deconstructing this uh, Langstroth here, I do a top feeder on mine the way I recommend to do them too which it'll be empty I did that on purpose and it serves as a place to put your frames and when you're queen let's see what we got in here oh yeah they look good and happy So Bob, where do you want to start with this? Well, let's go ahead and convert the frames that are less inhabited that we want to convert over and get them done first. So I'd say work our way from outside in, the outsides and the ends. We'll see what we got going on. We just want to make sure we don't. Let's do, I'm going to go ahead and, are you going to shake bees? Well, do you want to find the queen and get her caged? If you can find her and cage her, that would be 99% of the game over. Because i got a queen clip in my... Yeah, they're drawing awful nice comb on that, though. They are. If you happen to see her before I, I do... I don't see her there. Because i got a queen clip in the toolbox there. We can get her clipped up real nice and... I got a frame hanger too, Bob. That's if you all right. That. I just like the box with the lid, and that way, if we'd miss her and she falls, she's still in the lid. Oh, I see some drone comb or some. A little bit of everything. Drone, wrong. some six day old pupae, some capped honey. Now, this was a medium frame, so you yep. guys are going to see us put some. Yeah, they're drawing it nice. Good brood pattern. I just don't see her floating around yet. Of course, we're close to the outside. Yep. So I'd say she's not on that one. Let's go uh, another frame in here. We've got a lot of brood. And the brood look, it's looking good. Well, they've drawn that comb down. Yeah, this is a medium frame also. If you see her, Bob, before I'm I do... I'm looking. I have a hard time finding them. I think this one's marked. Because this comes oh, from she Joe. Isn't... Okay, so she's marked. I think this comes from Joe, so this should be marked. Now, some of you guys are going to see this and wonder what it is. This is green drone comb. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. I doubt she's over on it. Well, they've really drawn it out too. Yeah, they sure have. We're getting to the middle here, so we ought to be seeing her pretty soon. I haven't seen a big patch of eggs, so we might not be getting close to her yet. Watch out, little guys. Oh, I see a lot of drone brood. Oh, I 
there she is. The yellow or green? The yellow dot. She just crawled under that medium frame. She might be popping out your side, Bob. Maybe well, not. It might not have a hole there. Don't see her. I'll hold that. Get your clip and let's see if we can get her. Okay. Keep her over the box. Get the clip real quick. She's probably hiding. Yeah, I seen her go down in that little hole right there. But I haven't seen her. Oh. Uh oh. Well, we may have uh, either exposed her. What that was, guys, was a. Right, right there. there she is. All right, can we get her in a clip? Did she go in? I think she's in, but I just don't want to. I don't want to scrape to you. Oh, she's there. Oh, oh. All right, we got her. She in there? Yeah. Oh, she's oh. out. She back in? I'm gonna, nope, she's right here on. Right there she is. Got her. All right, we got her. All right, guys, we're gonna move her over here to this laying's hive. And we're going to keep her nice and safe in the bottom of this hive. That way we don't have to worry about her at all while we're doing our frame transfers. Put her there in the bottom in that little clip and she'll all be safe right. and sound. Alright. Now yeah. we're cooking, Bob. So let's start, leave, let's just leave them be work these outer frames these bees are looking nice how old is this hive uh this split was this split was done last month okay. i believe so the split's only about a month yeah, old they're purple is good ain't a whole lot on that one i'm gonna take it out it's yeah. just got a little few little bees on it i'm gonna shake them here there's not a whole lot on that one. Bump them off. I like to get these set up and do as many as we can. We'll just assembly line it. Nothing yep. on that one. We'll bump those off too. Yep. All right, Bob. Where do you want to start now? We got our these are tape. going to be the, the mess right here. So let's go ahead and knock these three frames out real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move this Which over three? one. And, all right. See, we're not going to need to transfer empty ones. You're not transferring any of the empty ones? No, because we only have eight frames that are empty. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and you're transferring the, the drone one? No, the green drone comb's not all being right. transferred. So, well... We'll just start with this one, and it's going to be a brush them off. You want to brush them off or knock them off? All right, you can do it however you want. I'm brushing, knock them. You got? Your, give me your brush, and I'll. You want a little brush get action? The They'll find that queen down there here real quick. All right. All right. A little smoke over here. So the first thing we want to do is we've got our lands and we're going to make this frame fit into this land. So we got to cut the ear off, we'll do a quick measurement and then we'll, we'll put it in. So go ahead before I turn the saw on and let's pre-drill two holes for our starter screws. Yep. All right. All right, so I'm just going to do this. I'm just using the table saw. I'm going to go ahead and start the saw up. We'll knock the ear off. Watch your fingers in there. All right, there's a Sharpie right there, Andrew. Give me a mark. All right, now we should be able to set this up. Maybe. Don't remember. That's our marks here. We need, need to go over, 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 over. We're out of fence. Yeah, it'll go. All right. Let's do it in reverse. Yep. 
So we'll go ahead and cut this ear off. Watch that saw blade come down. Right there is my mark. Oh, mark oh. it. Up top. Yep. There. Alright. Now you can see it a little bit easier. Wanna be about right there. Tighten me up. Lock right. it down and see if it moves me. Ought to be good. So just come back. You can do this with a circular saw, a hand saw. Oh, hold on. Blade, I should have brought another. I should have brought another table. That's all right. We got a frame here, and I got some screws right, in I'm here. I'm going to hold you up like this. It's easier for to line it up. So we're just taking the frame, put it inside. Well, I got to pull it up tight. I got. A little bit crooked. Don't want any place for any high beetles to be hanging out. Yep. Yeah, we'll shoot another one in there. We can get on yep. the side. No, I, there's some one inch screws over there. We got some little one inch. Do a little pilot yep. hole. That's it. Now, the bees will continue to draw that out. They'll hit this and they'll draw it right down to the bottom. So, that's it. So She's this ready. Is, this is a frame of resources, so we're going to shoot this one back towards the back. All right, we'll get right on to the next one. So we should be set up now with our saw. I'm going to make one little adjustment. I want to go this way. Right there. Oh, I hear one buzzing around. Yeah. All right, going to cut the ears off again. What's going to happen? Let me get a pair. Let me get a pair of nippers. Gotcha. Alright, where's your line out there, Bob? Yeah, I don't have one. I was, it's going to be... Just so you guys yeah. know, this has got a little piece of wire in it. That'll be alright. Alright, let's start over. And again. <laughs> Same. 
process. Boy, they're gonna like that drawn comb. You got me pilot holes? What do you say about the drone comb? I, I said they're going to love that drone comb. I mean, that was a new frame. They yeah, started they building really, that out. Really on it. Have you been feeding them anything? Yep. Sugar, you've been, been giving them one to one? They've been one to one. They've got uh, honeybee healthy. Uh, pull back that one out and draw it back up. It didn't draw tight. Uh, they've got honeybee healthy. Okay. They've got Same thing amino bee and bee pollen, bee purge, uh, yep. purging pollen. Beautiful. Shoot one in there. Nice. Right. Beautiful. There's some drawn I like comb. that. Let's put that more towards the front since they've already got that drawn out real mm -hmm. nice. Which one you want to do next? I'll just pull one. We're doing all four of these? Everything but the green drone comb. Right. I'm going to save the messy ones for last. Since we got plenty of frames uh, to do. Another beautiful drone. I got wire in that one too. That's all right. We can cut them. Let me Give get me the, an imaginary line, Bob. Let me get the, let me get the ears off of here real quick. Got an idea where you're at? Yep. I think that's all bladed cutting, but I'd hate for it to get wrapped up in the blade. Yeah, and you'd have to see me jerk my head back, hands back. Yeah, we don't want that. I don't want that. All right. It's alright. We can nip them. Yep. You guys get to see all sorts of uh, different frame styles. So. Pilot hole. Now you seen how that come apart right there? But those bees will propolis that back probably before the day is over. Yeah, because it's about uh, what, 2 30, 3 o'clock? Mm -hmm. So we're still doing this somewhat while the foragers are out. So when they come back, we'll have this hive moved over to where the existing hive is right now, is the plan. We may put one in the bottom of this one too, on the other side. Grab a screw out of that box, that's alright. That was a long one by accident. Uh -huh. That was a long one by accident. Did Beautiful. We, did we get a little, yeah. a little shy on that one? Yeah, we're going to have to. Let me loosen that back up. You don't up. have any rubber bands, do you? No. I didn't bring mine. All right, go ahead. Take it back down now, real easy. Yep. That'll hold it in place. Now, They'll put can, comb around that. And just be, oh, we're going to have to rubber band that one. Unless you can get it in there real nice and easy. It's warm out here, guys. Yeah. So this wax foundation is... Uh... I would tickle you just take a rubber band and band it and, until they get it all put together. But I think you got it covered right there. Put this fresh comb over here. All right. All right, these medium frames are going to be a little different. Yep, 
We, this is where we should have had rubber bands. Wish we'd have thought to bring them. Probably have to brush those off too. That brush is right there. They're not going to want to leave it brood. You guys got to remember All to right. keep your smoker going. This is going to be a little more difficult with that comb laying off the bottom, but I think we'll you be You want to cut that comb off there? Yeah, if we had some bands to put it, we could rubber band it in. I'm going to try it without cutting it. Okay. And let's see where, where we go here. Get your hard comb. Straight, straight back. Take the extra. Yeah, it's holding me funky there. Take the extra. Get a little messy on this one. It's too far. Watch that fall, boy. Yep, I did it all night. Trying not to break that comb off the uh, end. All right, we got a couple holes there. Oops. I'm gonna try to be a little more gentle with this one. Looks like it's a little shot. Right? Yeah, that was probably my fault. Ready? Yep. Yep. Something there right up went. there. She is a little messy, got some honey porn. I don't have that cleaned up in no time at all. All right, there's one. for the sod? You think it needs it? I don't think it needs it. It's, a good one? it's tight in there. That's all right, let's get them their brood back. to set some of these frames out because we're getting to the point where we've got too many in here. All right. I know you don't want to leave them, but I can't help you. Believe it or not, these bees are being really gentle. Oh yeah, beautiful. They're being real nice. Let's give them this frame brood back. 
All right, little guys, you gotta get out from in between the frames. <laughs> you do, you gotta get out of there. I don't wanna smush you. It's a little windy out here too. Mm -hmm. Brush them. Yeah, they're not. They're not wanting to play ball. Yeah, they don't want to go anywhere. They don't want to leave that brood. They just. Boy, that's a nice brood pattern. Look at that. Yeah. She is a good layer. Ah. What do you say? I know where you can get some, some deep frame. <laughs> I, well, I bought my stuff from Jan. So I, I hear you. Push it right on the yep. You drilled and ready? Yep. Drilled ready to go. I'm gonna hold this like this and let's feel. I just don't want to knock that comb off the bottom. You already caged your queen? Yep, she's already caged. She's in the bottom of the hive. For those of you just tuning in, Joe just showed up. This is uh this is oh, the well, I'm not tight, man. Can you take your finger in the middle and pull me up? My hands are slipping. Yep, got you, brother. This is uh, this is the split that we got from Joe. Yep, well, that's a rock star queen right there, buddy. I'm telling you. Look at all the things we've got. But I mean, look at that. Isn't that something? She's that's got a what great you want to see. Yeah, what you guys need me to do? I'm think. We've got, you, know, you don't have any rubber bands, do you? No, well. We're going to take, Andy, we're going to go ahead and piece these, other, these others in. I mean, I'd definitely piece that. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a lot of brood right yeah. there. Yeah, let's piece those in. So, again, we're going to do the same. You're gonna, we're going to do a hole, two holes a little bit closer. Actually, we can use probably just use those holes that's in it. All right. Man, I use bands on. Bryson, go over and check make sure that camera's still on. I didn't bring any. So let's, let's see if it's do. counting at the top. It is. Whoop. That's all right. Go ahead. Draw it. Draw it up. No, keep going. Yep. We got Bryson here with us too. Same way Joe would over here. Yep. Where you want it? I uh, just lay it right down in there, next in line. Towards you, outside or inside? Yeah, uh, outside, left. And no, they will. I bet you, you come out here tomorrow by the end of the tomorrow evening. They'll have that drawn. Yeah. They'll bridge that. Oh yeah. That up. Yep. And then they'll start building right off the bottom. That's a lot of. You want that? That's a lot of pollen right yeah, there. Yeah, we're going. The. Uh, I thought that was. I'd put we them all in there. Empty frames. Right. I got I got two, so I need the other drill. All right, guys. So you got to see a little bit of uh, swapping that over into the Lands Hive. I'm glad you got to come along with us. Hey, uh, get a chance to go back and check out our other videos. You can see how that Lands Hive was made. And stay tuned. We got more videos coming. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.